Okay, got a couple really gnarly repairs in the vinyl. But I'm in the middle of a remodel and not really wanting to spend a lot of money on redoing all this vinyl. And, uh, well, clean up what we can. And the rest I'm going to show you my extreme trick here. This has actually already been tempted to be clean, so but I'm just going to make sure real quick before I just go and paint it if that's not what needs to happen. But yeah, this one I was pretty much able to clean it out. Don't want to paint it if I don't have to, but you see these big scrapes. So here goes. And this is an appliance epoxy paint. And I'm just going to kind of feather it out. Won't be perfect. It'll just be a little bit better. There we go. It's that one. And this bigger oblong shape to me. And the same thing, I'll just kind of feather it in. And it is what it is. There we go. It actually looks like these were like moving scrapes. Just kind of hide them, and that's that. Okay, there we go. Let that dry in. We'll be good to go there. Okay, so here's some big, gnarly ones. And uh, I already tried cleaning them. Yeah. Cleaning them did a new thing, so. Dump some of this on. And just spread it out pretty quickly. around the edges we'll just want to feather it in it's kind of an extreme Repair, but just going to do what I can, make it survive one more round. We'll probably be replacing everything on the next round, so this round, it's just all about survival.
And these baseboards and stuff, I can paint those up to make those look better too. That'll, every little bit will help. I've already started. I'm almost done. A lot of times this is just really, it. The, the feathering is going to be the key to really make it blend in. Otherwise it'll stand out. But, uh, yeah, it is what it is. And with some flooring, you can mix colors, mixing white and uh, almond to get the right tone, or even kind of multi-specking it in, just so you can make it blend even better. I think it comes in a bisque color as well, which is right between almond and white. But I find that the almond one works good for me, it just seems to hide things better. And this pattern is kind of a busy pattern as well, so it's very, very forgiving. Big burn mark over here. Yeah, the key here is kind of feathering it in to hide it. It's much better already. And if you ever need to in the future, just reapply. But it's an epoxy paint, so it's pretty strong. Hides it pretty good.
Okay, there it is. Definitely not perfect, but you know, just a little bit better. Yep, I think that'll work. Okay, and here it is after the paint's all dried. Yeah, you know, it's definitely not perfect, but definitely just not as bad as it was. Good to go. And here's the other spot. Not too bad, huh? It's there, but, you know. What are you going to do?